Hey guys, welcome back to another trip to the thrift. Uh, basically, I'm just super excited to show you this haul. Uh, just about everything is nearly vintage, uh, which is the reason why I do this. I just love finding cool bits like this. There's a bit of everything. Uh, but before we get into that, a few announcements. Uh, the wholesale room, uh, that is moving from the 40 foot container into a new warehouse. Just a temporary move while we wait for the bigger warehouse to be built. So it should be in there till the end of the year, hopefully. I don't know the exact dates. Uh, I'll put in a few clips now. Getting the cages in, table, slowly getting there. Those clips are from today. Literally spent the whole day uh, just moving stuff around in like the hottest weather we've had this year so far. I'm super dirty and sweaty. Uh, but with that being said, I'll have probably a vintage vlog of moving and then I'll do another wholesale video um, showing all the categories that we have plus a few extras that we're gonna add in. And of course, just keeping on with the trip to the thrifts. Uh, but yeah, we'll just get into the video. Make sure to like the video, subscribe if you're new here, follow my Instagram and my Depop down there at the bottom of the screen, Ryan's Vines, R H N S, F I N S. As well as that, follow the wholesale Instagram. That'll keep you updated on the move and all the different things that we're gonna be getting in. We've seen the Henry Wholesale down there at the bottom of the screen. Uh, yeah, like the video, subscribe, enjoy these clips, and then we'll come back here and go through all this vintage, some really cool accessories. One of my favorite finds so far this year. Um, yeah, enjoy the clips. How much have you got on the jacket? Uh, 30. 30? That's not that, yeah. How much are you asking on the denim? Uh, should I say, uh, Wranglers 25. Yeah. The best Wranglers are the ones without the studs because some of these are shot. Yeah, yeah. I will let them go. I'd say it's like 10 or a pair. Yeah. That's right. Even though, because the studs are gone, you know, you probably pick them out on that. But these ones are mint though. Yeah. But it's whether you find your size. I think yeah. that is the Wranglers pretty much together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, the rest are sort of lesser known 70s brands, you know. Watch my exhaust if you squeeze around. Oh, yeah. A bit dirty. Right. Um, right. 
This is me. Radio. There's a small box over here. Awesome, thank you. How much are the bags? Thanks for one. Both the Oakley and the Nike. Oakley's 30 and the Nike, Nike's a tenner. Tenner. He's 35 on the two? Took both of them? Well, I can't do that, so it's not mine to sell. Yeah, Same go on in. I'll grab them. Right, we're back. We're going to start with this lot and then we'll finish with the accessories for once. Just because my favourite bits are the accessories. Starting off, I found this at the second car boot of the day. It is just a new age Huff skateboarding t-shirt. Uh, it was a pound. I just figured take it to a pop-up, set it for like 12, 15 pound all in. Good condition, good graphic, uh, and it's only a pound. Then we've got a nice early 2000s Reebok sort of breathable t-shirt. Big logo there. I think it's just a print and on tag, but it is an early 2000s one. Uh, that was, again, one pound. Should be sort of 12, 15 pound all in at a pop-up. Then we've got these two Ralphie polos. I don't usually pick them up. Uh, but if they're striped or just good colours, I will do. Uh, I think she was asking £4 a piece, so £8 for the two, and I offered six and got them for £6, so £3 each. Should be, again, sort of 12 to like 18 maybe you can push, just because they're like a good size and they're really good colours and condition. Then we've got one football top. I'm fairly sure this is like last season's or a season or two ago, uh, but that was £1.00. Don't think they go for that much, probably like 15 to 20 pounds. But again, just take it to a pop up and should get that sort of money. Then we've got a super nice Tommy Hilfiger uh, long sleeve rugby. There's a tag. I paid, I think I paid eight pounds for it from a dealer. She was asking 10, uh, but she usually sorts me out. 
uh, with really cool bits. Uh, so yeah, that should be sort of an easy sort of 20, 25 pound all in at a pop up. Then we've got this late 2000s, I think, Umbro England track top. Again, just another England piece that I'm going to tuck away until the World Cup starts. That was two pound, I think. I'm not too sure what it goes for, but I wouldn't expect it to be too much uh, just because it's not that crazy or cool. Just got the Umbro piping down the arms, England flag, and then Umbro embroidered there. I'll show you the tag quickly. But yeah, nothing too cool. But for two pound, again, I'm not going to leave it. Next, we've got all this vintage that I got from a dealer. Uh, I think they're an antique dealer. They just had the bag of this stuff. I think they do a few house clearances, uh, but I paid £22.50 for the lot and there's eight items. So it's like two to three pound a piece. I can't work out the maths in my head, but we'll go through them now. Starting off, we've got this vintage Essex Cricket County top. Um, I've never bought cricket gear in my life. I basically just saw the pony tag and knew it was an old one. I did find an eBay listing. I put it up there. I think I'm like the only watcher on it. So they keep on um, sending me offers. But I don't think it'll go for that much. That one's in better condition. Uh, this one's a little bit scattier. But I'm still going to pick it up just because of them colours and it is an old one. Um, but I'm not too sure what it'll go for. I'd say probably like 20, maybe 25, 30 if that. Uh, but it's got all the sponsors. I think it's got AXA. Yeah, AXA on the back there. I thought it was a really cool pickup. I've never seen vintage cricket gear before. Then we've got this random Italian sort of like market stall special football top. A lot of these come out of Italian rag. Nothing too crazy, just like a £10 all in at a pop up. It's got Totti on the back. Next, we've got this long sleeve t shirt which has the 51st state on it, uh, which is a movie I've never seen. I do need to watch it. Um, it's on the nice early 2000s screen stars. And I believe the movie is from 2001. Not too sure what it's worth, if it's worth that much, maybe like 20, 25 pounds. But I'll probably just tuck it away and do something with it at a later date. This one's a bit of a rogue one. It's just a vintage rugby top. It's called. Harlequin International. I just thought it was nice colours and it was just a big pile of clothes, so I just grabbed anything which looked old. Uh, but that should be sort of 10 to 12 pounds, maybe a little bit more. Um, but yeah, just really nice colours on it, good quality. Next, we've got this Chelsea sweatshirt, which will probably pay for the whole um, bundle. Uh, I think it's just sort of one of them fan shop sweats, blue flag. It's just got that embroidered on it. What does it say? Chelsea Football Club, the Blues, Stamford Bridge. Good colour blocking, um, nothing wrong with it as well. Uh, that should be sort of, yeah, 25 to 35, I reckon, on Depop. Next, we've got another Rogue one that I wouldn't usually buy, but I just saw the nice old Screen Stars tag and grabbed it. Uh, I believe it's a beer, fancy an old one, old English cider, that on the back. Uh, it has got a few marks, but again, that should be sort of 15, maybe a little bit more, just because it is a sweatshirt. Then we've got the final two items of that haul. This one's super sick. Unfortunately, it doesn't, it shows my curves a bit too much when I put it on. Uh, but it's from 1995. It is the Grand Slam England t-shirt. It's not single stitch, but it's an old one. And it's got all the scores of who they played on the back. Definitely going to hang that one up on my wall. Um, I'm trying to get as much sort of vintage rugby gear as I can find. Super yellowed as well. Definitely needs a proper soak. And it does smell of like just being sat in a garage uh, and being worn on like super sunny, sweaty days. And then the last t-shirt of that haul, Another really yellowed white t-shirt uh, is the Notting Hill Carnival tee. It is an old one, not single stitch. Hasn't got, a, oh yeah, it's got an old B&C tag actually there. Uh, it's got that on the front, lilt, and then that graphic on the back. Again, lilt, and then that on it. But yeah, super sick, nice boxy one, and it fits me really well. So again, I'll probably just have to give it a nice soak and see what I can do to try and make it look as white as it can. Next, we've got another little bundle that I got from, not really a dealer. He was selling like loads of fake, like Fendi, Gucci um, sliders. Uh, I think he wanted like 35 on a lot and I paid 20 or 25. First, we've got this really cool FUBU um, denim jacket. It's like a sort of a shiny, shimmery silver. Nothing on the back, just that embroidery on the chest. That should be sort of 25 to maybe 40. I'll have to have a look in line because I haven't sold one of these in ages. Then we've got a nice pair of old diesel trousers, um, just a nice sort of fit and cut on them. Uh, should be sort of 15, sort of 20, maybe 25 at a push. And then finally for that bundle, we've got this vintage Tottenham Hotspur um, track jacket with the pony sponsor and then the big pony on the back. I can't remember when pony was their kit sponsor, but I want to say it's early 2000s or mid 90s. Uh, I can't quite remember. So someone comment down below when it was, uh, but that should be sort of a 20, 25 maybe it's got a couple of burn holes in it which i did see when i was buying it but you don't find too much vintage football stuff 
Finally, to finish off the hanging items, uh, we've got this really cool leather jacket. This is my first buy of the day. Bit of a rogue one again. Don't usually buy them because I don't list them, uh, but I figured I'd take it to a pop-up and sort of get maybe sort of 70 to like 100. Uh, but it's got that on the back. It's just really good colors, good sponsors on it. It has got the padding on it, which I need to take out. Uh, but I thought that wasn't too bad for 30 pound all in. Next, we're getting into the accessories. Um, I got these caps with that bundle of eight, so I did pay less than two pound a piece. Uh, this is like an 80s, I think, uh, Bengals hat. I think it's like made in Korea. Copyright 1980. No, it's not made in Korea. I think it's a different one. But there's that one there. Then we've got a 2005 Chelsea Carling Cup cap. That is brand new, but it's just been sat in the garage, so it's super dusty. Then we've got this London Broncos um, cap. I believe it's a rugby league team. Uh, I'm not too sure don't follow it too much and then for the last of the caps this is the one which was made in korea uh it's toronto blue jays it's got the classic green brim uh and it's got all the official merchandising one size fits all made in korea genuine merchandise that should be sort of 12 to 15 maybe a little bit more just because it's a really old one and you don't see too much blue jay stuff then we've got one pair of shoes nice early 2000s silhouette just a women's one from 2005 i just thought it was a cool silhouette good colors uh, should be sort of 20, 25 pound at a pop-up. Next, we get into the bags. Uh, this one is a Trusadi leather sort of satchel. Uh, I couldn't leave it. It was two pounds. The quality is amazing. It even has like the care instructions and sort of receipts on it. Uh, it's got all the labels and everything. But yeah, that was two pounds. It's in like basically perfect condition. I figured that'd be sort of 25 to maybe 35 all in on eBay. It's probably more of an eBay item. But yeah, we'll just have to see on that one. And finally, to finish it off, We've got the two rucksacks, uh, my favorite items of the day, probably two of my favorite finds of the year so far. First, we've got this Oakley bag. This one is almost brand new. I think it basically is. It did come with an AirTag as well, which I've taken out. It kept on popping up on my phone that I'm being tracked. Uh, but yeah, there's that one there. I'll put some eBay listings there. I paid 30 pound on this and 10 pound on the Nike one. She wouldn't budge on the price at all, because apparently it weren't hers, but that's just a classic thing to say. Uh, so you don't get haggled. But yeah, there's that Oakley one, which is in like perfect condition. Probably gonna end up keeping it, even though I probably won't use it too much. It's just a super sick bag, and it's not that bad of a price either to pay for like an almost brand new Oakley bag. And then finally, my favorite item of the day, the best of the bunch. This early 2000s, I think it's early 2000s or late 90s, hard case, Nike rucksack. It probably has some sort of technical name, um, but yeah, it's just awesome so cool i paid 10 pound for this i put some sold ebay listings uh i haven't seen any of them for sale uh, i don't really check ebay that much but on facebook i've never seen one for sale and i've seen like two people with one of these um and a guy literally had it in his hands i was just hoping to god that he wasn't gonna buy it just a classic ebay seller trying to get everything for like a pound um but yeah i paid 10 pound for that and that's like yeah goes for like the most money out of anything i've bought today and yeah I'm just super hyped that I found this. Uh, definitely one to keep in the collection. Uh, probably won't use it that much because I'll be too scared that it's gonna break. Uh, but it has so many pockets. It's got like two underneath here, like four on the front, loads on the top here as well. I'm not too sure when it's from, but I think it's late 90s, early 2000s. It's got that early 2000s sort of look. And yeah, again, I'm just super hyped to find it. So that is it for everything that I found today. I'm getting hotter and hotter and sweatier and sweatier. Um, as always, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're new here, follow my Instagram and my Depop down there at the bottom of the screen, Ryan's Finds, I find S, F find S, and also follow the wholesale Instagram, I'm seeing the Henry Wholesale. Uh, again, there's going to be updates on us moving, having a lot more categories, a lot more gear, a lot more vintage in there for you guys to come and have a hand pick at. Um, yeah, I don't think there's anything else. There should be two wholesale videos in the future. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, all of that. Peace.